Welcome to WebBikeWorld.com. This time we're taking a quick look at the Cardo Systems Research and Development Facility where all of the Cardo Scala Rider intercoms are designed, tested, and developed. For more information, photos, and all of the details, please visit WebBikeWorld.com. Cardo made one of the very first Bluetooth motorcycle intercom systems back in 2003, and as we look through this collection of Cardo communication products from the past, it's interesting to note that the company has developed many innovative products since then. These include many motorcycle intercom firsts, like implementation of Vox for intercom calls, automatic gain control, the first embedded FM radio, one mile range, full duplex conference calling, and the first online software upgrades. Cardo makes the intercom fitted in the Schuberth SRC system, and they work with other companies like TomTom Tom and others. Cardo innovation continues in 2012 with the Scala Rider G9 intercom, which will also have many new features never before seen in a motorcycle intercom system, and we have more about that also on webbikeworld.com. So let's take a brief look at what it takes to develop a Cardo motorcycle intercom system. The Cardo R&D offices handle all of the initial design of the intercom unit, along with the design, development, and testing of the printed circuit boards and the tens of thousands of lines of code that must be programmed and tested also. As a new intercom is developed, it goes through extensive testing for all of the various features and functions. Much of this is completed through software, and Cardo makes its own testing equipment and develops the software that puts the intercom unit through its paces to make sure everything works as designed. Since each intercom must meet the various country requirements for broadcasting and communications devices without interference, the testing also includes certification to all of the different requirements. Then there's the physical and environmental testing of the intercom unit, the buttons, the mounting system, and the replaceable parts. The intercom units are placed on helmets which undergo drop tests to determine the strength of the mount and of the intercom body itself. An environmental test chamber can cycle the parts through temperatures from very cold to very hot. Here are some batteries from different vendors being tested in the chamber. The intercom switches and buttons must last for many cycles without failing, and here a new Cardo G9 intercom is being tested. The foam microphone parts and speakers are also wear tested to make sure they'll last. Parts from different suppliers are evaluated here also to both maintain quality control and to choose the suppliers who can meet the requirements. Evaluating, choosing, and managing suppliers from all over the world for all of the many parts that go into a communication system is another function that's crucial to any manufactured product, so there are staff members that also take care of that. Many of the employees at Cardo are motorcycle and scooter riders, and you can see their helmets and gear scattered throughout the offices. Then there's the marketing function. This includes the boxes, the graphics, and the marketing information. It's all designed here, along with the owner's manuals. And don't forget, everything has to be translated into scores of different languages. Cardo products are sold all over the world, so staff members also have to manage the relationships with distributors in each country, along with retailer relationships, training, and support. So that's a brief look at the R&D offices of Cardo Systems. Of course, there's also the factory that manufactures all of the products and puts it all together into that familiar Cardo box for motorcyclists to enjoy. Thanks for watching our video, and be sure to visit webbikeworld.com for more information on the new Cardo Scala Rider G9 communication system and much more.